Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a complete overview of some of the most popular games by far on RPCS3, an emulator for the PlayStation 3, running the Zen 2 CPU architecture. The CPU I am using for this video is a Ryzen 7 3700X, which as you can see in the top right hand corner is currently running at 4.3GHz on all cores. This CPU is also being paired with 16GB of 3733MHz RAM and the GPU being used for all of these benchmark tests is an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti. If you're looking for more specifics on the overclocks used on this CPU, so stuff like Infinity Fabric, RAM overclocking and RAM timings, simply look down in the description and you will find all of that information there. So in respect to the games that are going to be shown in this video, you are going to see Red Dead Redemption, Persona 5, Skate 3, Gran Turismo 6, God of War 3, Metal Gear Solid 4, Demon Souls, Uncharted and Shadow of the Colossus. In any instances where I could, I used 60 FPS patches or versions of those games. Some of the games that support 60 frames per second that will be shown in this video include Red Dead Redemption, Persona 5, Skate 3, Metal Gear Solid 4, Demon Souls and Shadow of the Colossus. And while some of these games may not reach 60 frames per second at all times, I still wanted to use these 60 frame per second unlocks so that you could see the potential of this CPU on this awesome PlayStation 3 emulator both now and and in the future of its development. While I was able to test a lot of games that you guys requested, I wasn't able to test all of the games that I wanted to. For example, The Last of Us just basically doesn't work and isn't playable at all on the last few master versions of RPCS3. And while I could go back in time and use an older version of Master where it does work, I really didn't want to do that because it's not a proper accurate representation of how that game is running on the latest release of this emulator. The same can be said for other games like Ratchet & Clank Tools of Destruction and Ratchet & Clank A Crack in Time. Both of those titles did actually load in game but they only were playable for about 15 to 20 seconds and they either crashed or just froze to 24 frames per second, a very weird bug that seems to have been introduced in the last few months of RPCS3 development. Now that's not to say that development is going badly or that anything horrible is happening with RPCS3. Regressions like this are 100% normal and happen to basically every single emulator. Hopefully once these issues are fixed I'll be able to test The Last of Us and all of those other games that I wanted to include in this video but was not able to and we'll be able to see just how awesome the performance is on this amazing Zen 2 CPU in this really really cool PS3 emulator. So back to the games, we've already taken a look at Red Dead Redemption which was running absolutely amazingly on this 3700X and we are currently looking at Persona 5 running using its 60 frames per second patch. One thing I did mean to mention earlier on was the fact that for the most part all of these games are going to be running at 1440p. The only outliers to this are God of War which doesn't currently upscale very well on RPCS3 so I was forced to run it at its native resolution. The only other game that I wasn't able to play at 1440p was Gran Turismo 6. This game I had to play at 1080p because if I upscaled any further than that the game would just crash due to a memory issue in the emulator. Hopefully again, as with the other issues we've mentioned with Ratchet and Clank and The Last of Us, those issues will also be solved and that game will be awesomely playable at resolutions like 1440p, 4K and higher. If you want to jump to a specific section of this video to look at any of the games I've tested, you will find down in the comment section of this video a pinned comment which will have all of the timestamps for each of these individual games. So if you just want to skip around or see a specific game that is one of your favorites, Please feel free to do so as that's pretty much the point of videos like this. All I wanted to do was to show you how awesomely these emulated games are running on this amazing Zen 2 architecture. As I've said many times in the past, I am working on a brand new setup guide for RPCS3 and I'm hopefully going to be getting that released before the end of this week so please keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that. Included in that guide are going to be all of the best settings for running all of these awesome games on this PS3 emulator so as I said keep your eyes peeled for that guide, I'm gonna try to get it out to you guys as soon as I possibly can. 
Now, before I go, I want to give another massive thank you to all of my supporters over on Patreon.com. You guys, in fact, massively helped in the making of this video since I had to buy a ton of new games. And believe me, some of them were not cheap at all, even though the PlayStation 3 is very old. If anyone out there wants to help with the day to day running of BSOD Gaming, helping to pay for things like internet bills, power bills, water bills, and all of the games that I require for testing in videos just like this one, please consider heading to the Patreon link in this video's description and pledging or donating. As I always say, these pledges are 100% not required for help from me here on YouTube or over on my Discord server, but to all of my past, present and future supporters, thank you guys very, very much. At the same time, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving it a like down below and leave me a comment if there are any other additional games you would like to see me test on this or any other emulator in the future. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I upload any new videos. For now though, I'm going to leave you with the remainder of these game benchmarks, starting things off with God of War 3. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching this video, have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War, and its consumption of life, has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, 
battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. War has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Oh, well. What do you think this is, Incan? Nah, it's older than that. Like 2,000 years older. Huh.
find anything? <sighs> Nothing yet. Be careful up there. <sighs> hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. Careful, mate. That's quite a drop. You're not kidding. Hey, watch your step down there. Okay, getting somewhere. Now, don't tell me you're gonna swim in that. I've been in worse. <sighs> I'm really wet. Yeah.